meet you. God, we are so grateful. We are so grateful for the freedom that we have in you, for the freedom that we have in this country. Lord, we are so grateful that you are enabling us to love you, to love you back. I thank you for the love that you pour out into our hearts, that we can love other people with the same love that we have received. Lord God, I just I just pray over this room, over the people in this room, over the people that are listening now, over the people that will be listening later. God, I pray that your Holy Spirit would fill this room, would fill our hearts, would just overwhelm us with your presence today, Lord God. We press in for more of you, Lord. We ask, Father, for more of you. May we decrease and may you increase in our lives, Lord God. I pray, Father, that this message that comes forth this morning would be a, a turning point for many of us, Lord God, that we would understand how you are a God of boundaries and how you have set our boundaries in pleasant places, that you are a God that has wonderful plans for our lives. You have good plans for the day. Lord, we know the enemy has plans for our day. Lord, we know that our flesh has weakness in it, Lord God, but your spirit is greater in us. <clears throat> the spirit that's in us is greater than that is in the world. And so actually this morning, but uh, before we do communion, I'm going to go over some of these bold declarations. I'm just going to speak them over us. I'm going to get them up on the screen by next week, God willing. But um, these are just scriptural bold declarations and um they're they might be too long to get y'all to repeat them so <laughs> i'm just going to speak up over everybody who is watching online who is here and myself and my family uh, you guys uh just know that the word of god is living and active to, sharper than two-edged sword and it can really cut things off of us that are hanging on us that don't need to be hanging on us and it can really uh, just get to the heart of the matter and so when we declare these things into the atmosphere, by faith we believe that things will shift, things will be changed in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So Amen. Romans 8, 28, with God Amen. in control, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, everything is going to be turned around and used for my good and his glory. Amen. No weapon formed against me, my family, my family, our, okay, no weapon formed against us. Our family, our finances, our health, or anything that concerns us will prosper. Amen. And every tongue that raises up against us in judgment, we will show to be in the wrong. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak silence to every witchcraft prayer. We speak silence to every slandering tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We block all soulish prayers, witchcraft prayers, unscriptural prayers, demonic prayers, Un, uh, dem uh, all fears, doubts, projections, intimidations, or threats coming from any man, woman, or demonic power in the matchless, priceless blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, any plot or plan against our life and the life of our family that is not authored by the Holy Spirit is called null and void and is overturned right now in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Amen. We are participating in the divine nature of God and escaping the corruption that is in the world because of God's very great and precious promises. We stand on the promises of God. We recognize and we cast down every high and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God in our lives. We have everything that is needed, every bit of energy, every bit of inspiration, every bit of provision, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, good morning to people online. Say hi, say hi to us. Uh, we're, we're glad that you're joining us. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I say that every day, a couple Amen. times a day, because I have been plagued with fear throughout my life. So this is really helping me. All of my spiritual, emotional, mental, relational, financial, and every other need that we have, every need that we have is met by God because he loves us and he's sovereign ruler over the entire universe. We want for nothing. We are completely full. We are fully satisfied in him. In the mighty name of Jesus, that's 2 Timothy 1, 7. 
we will run we will win the race that's set before us Amen. we will run with endurance we will keep our eyes on the prize everything the enemy has come to to kill steal and destroy in our lives will be reclaimed and multiplied in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak multiplication and upgrade, not just recompense. In the mighty name of Jesus, what has been removed will be replaced or restored in the mighty name of Jesus with the multiplication for the glory of God and for the good of the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even time that's been stolen, even time that's been wasted is being redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. We will use our spiritual weapons to dismantle every enemy plot and plan over our life, over our family, over our purpose. Our faith is solid. We're building our life firmly on the rock of Jesus. We use our faith to activate the promises of God in our lives. We are more than conquerors in all these things. Every stronghold Every stronghold must crumble from our lives and the lives of our family. Complete and total victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Every obstacle is being overcome. We are not going to back down. We are not going to give up. We are not going to fall short. We have the power of the living God on the inside of us. And we will have victory in all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Our intimacy with the Lord and our family and our brothers and sisters in Christ is increasing daily. The love that is in us is overflowing on others everywhere we go out of service to our God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We are full of joy. We are full of peace. We walk in the perfect peace of Jesus. The peace that he left with us. Everywhere we go, we have favor with God and with man. We are protected by the power of God from all harm and evil. God has opened doors for us that no man can shut. We are walking in the perfect will and timing of the Lord for our lives. We are not behind. We have not went too, too far ahead. God already predestined, pre-planned, factoring in every mistake, every shortcoming. And he is placing us within time. My clock is always, and this is, you know, it's a phone, it's an, it's a Android. It's always like five minutes behind everybody else. And I noticed that this morning when you were saying, you know, about the time. And, and I felt like the Lord was saying, you don't look at the clock of what the time is. Uh, we're in, we're our own time zone here. <laughs> we're in the heavenly time zone. So don't feel like you missed out. Don't feel like it's not happening. And God is saying, I have a time for everything under the sun. And you are in my timing. And he is connecting us with strategic relationships to advance the kingdom on the earth in this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to take a minute.